What's going on everybody, Matthew Monas here. Today's a very special video because usually on this channel, I review the latest and greatest technology aimed at the general consumer. But there's a whole other market out there, a whole other group of people who have disabilities, limited mobility, and they are not suffering, but don't have the ability to do the things that we take for granted every single day. It could be anything from moving your arm or sight. Maybe they can't hear, or maybe they have trouble speaking. There's a whole great, kit of technology out there to help assist their lives to be able to do the simple things that we do. The first product is aimed at people who are visually impaired. So the problem is a lot of the products on the market are not very stylish and some might not care, but if you have the ability to have something that looks good, why not buy that instead of some general piece of technology just thrown onto the market? This here is the Eon Bradley. It's a very stylish timepiece that allows visually impaired people to tell the time. The way it works is it has two magnet balls that go around the clock interface to tell the time. So on the top portion, there's one ball where they can touch and feel that tells you the exact hour of the clock and the one in the middle tells you how many minutes. So for example, right now it is 11, 10 a.m. And this will allow them to get through their day and be confident that they'll be able to tell the time. Now you're saying, what happens if the ball moves? Well, the good news is let's say I do that, it'll automatically go to the exact position where it should go. So the time will always be accurate. The next piece of kit is probably one of the most emotional piece of kits for me because I think gaming is an important function that a lot of us take for granted. Gaming brings people together, gaming brings in enjoyment, and I think everyone deserves to be able to do gaming. Now the problem is the controllers that we're using today, as much as they're comfortable to us, they're getting a lot more difficult to use. They're getting harder to control, there's a lot more buttons to push, and it makes it difficult for people with limited mobility to actually use them. Now this is the Xbox Adaptive Controller, and I gotta commend Microsoft for doing this because they're bringing gaming to the masses. Think of the adaptive controller as a hub. This big piece of kit has two big buttons that they can press along with arrow keys. Now, for some people with limited mobility or cerebral palsy, it might be still a little tough. They can basically place this anywhere on their body and push these buttons. The cool thing is you can buy accessories to attach to it. So for example, I have a joystick here that allows me to move around my character, which connects to the side of the adaptive controller. There's also a pedal Pedal, which allows you to press if you want to play like say a racing game or any type of game. The cool thing about it is on the top of the adaptive controller, you have every single button that you'd get on the controller itself. And you can place all of these little accessories to any portion of that function. So matter, no matter what type of limited mobility you're suffering from, you have the option to customize it to your experience. The beauty about it is you can still play games with all of your friends, you can connect with them and these custom profiles can be switched up for any type of game you play. The third one is actually an app. It's called Be My Eyes, and this is catered towards people who have visual impairments or someone who's maybe confused, maybe they have Alzheimer's, dementia, and they're not sure of their environment. So for example, let's say you can't see the milk carton and you wanna know the expiry date. The person who has the phone will record a video or point it at the, at the carton. You'll get a notification on your device over here. You'll answer the call and you'll be able to assist them in real time. I think this is very special. It basically allows us who live our normal lives to help anybody out there who has trouble seeing. And the best part about it is it doesn't cost you any money to help out or that much time. It's just a good way to really give back. Last up is a mouse that's aimed pretty much at everyone, regardless of whether you have limited mobility or not. This is the MX Vertical Mouse by Logitech. And the way it works is it keeps your hand in a proper handshake position. The problem today is when we're using mice or mouse, however you wanna say it, is that our hands are twisted this way. This is not a natural formation for our arm and this causes strain, it causes muscle cramps, and over a long period of time, it will cause maybe arthritis or severe joint pain which you don't want. The vertical mouse takes that away and puts your hand in a position it was meant to be in. So think of it as ergonomically friendly. It still has all the same buttons. It still feels just as smooth to use. It has all the Bluetooth functionality as the more expensive MX Master Mouse so you can connect it to two or three devices. And if you're someone with limited mobility, this will help you move the mouse around a lot easier than straining your wrist this way. It also allows you to lightly click the buttons, which sometimes when your hand is this way is kind of harder to do. So that pretty much wraps up all the things that I think will help people with accessibility issues out there. I just want people to live a happy life and I think it's our job to make sure that we all live a great life. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found something that might help someone you know or maybe you're someone who has 
visual impairment. You're listening to this. Hopefully there's something in here for you. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you want to see more videos like this, let me know in the comments below. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up on Discord. Follow me on Instagram for behind the scenes and I will see everybody in the next video.